Hello. 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 We are Story Fandom. We are <laughs> We are doing a review. We do a review. Of season 15, episode season, 1. Season 15, episode 1. Of Supernatural. Supernatural. Now, we would have loved to do a reaction to this. We love to do it. I didn't do this. <laughs> but, um, but, it's um, not as easy to get to as, no, say, no, Ruby no, or Sword of Online on a Bridge because no, it's no, not online no, as easily. No, not to mention, no, we have an issue no, where no, our son, no, who's 15, loves the show, our daughter, no, who is 6, gets no, scared. No, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> She used to love it when she was a baby, but I not used to so love much it as a baby. <laughs> yeah, you know that that yeah. wonderful phrase, uh, yeah. time um, when little kids aren't scared of anything. And then she hit three, and then we get three. Next is very dramatic. Yeah, so dramatic. So. With the episode starting, I mean, to start off with, uh, I know that I enjoyed it. I had some issues, but I know you, did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it a lot. What was your favorite yes, part? Uh, I'm just curious. I thought like it was. An interview. It's weird. Um, We're working on this. We're going to get this down eventually. I liked Belle a lot. I, like I liked his character. I liked him better than I liked Jack. No offense to the actor, whose name I don't know. But, yeah, I liked when he played Belle better than when he played Jack. I had a lot of problems with Jack the character. Sorry, <laughs> I did. I don't, know. I don't know if anyone else had problems with it. I liked him better when he had no soul. The thing with the snake was cool in season 14. I mean, where he just randomly, like, vaporized the snake. Like, out of nowhere. I never had any problem with him. He was kind of a flat character, though. Yeah. Exactly. But oh, I, okay. I don't think it's an insult to the actor saying you like Belle more than Jack because mm -hmm. he played both. So clearly yeah. it shows that the actor okay, must well have then, some skills. No offense to the writers who wrote Jack and whose character I didn't particularly I I like. <sighs> We're so mature. I it. We are. So, I mean, I like Belle. Um, I know I had some issues with the episode, though. Just like kind of plot holy things like the um, oh and we should probably say spoilers. We're bad at this. We're learning. Um mm -hmm. at the episode part with the clown in the garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some no, issues. I'm laughing at the water bear this time, not even a her. <laughs> I had some uh, issues with the clown in the garage because it was like okay, so the little girl and the mom running away, it's at night, they're you know, trying to get away from the murderous clown. <laughs> They hide in the uh, hide in the garage, and it looks like they hide in the car. Through the magic of editing, we don't see where they hide. And then the clown comes after them. He looks in the car, cuts away. Then we end up back at the the garage. You know, later on in the episode, when Sam gets there, and apparently they've been hiding on a garage shelf the entire time. I mean, that ghost had all this shit to do with other people to find, you know? Maybe he left, went and killed a bunch of other people, came back to look for them. That's when Sam was there. I'm just saying, you don't know what he does. It's a lot to do, though. I'm, it's, he's a ghost. He ain't tied to one place because they already <laughs> freaking killed him, and this is when, like, everything, like, went kablooey, so, you know... Which is another issue I kind of have. This is God. How are they getting out of this? How did this suddenly work out this way? How did anything go in their way? Because wasn't it like bright and then all of a sudden it was night? Yeah, because God deemed it so. Like you said, it's God. No one else noticed? It's, I don't know. It's God. I felt like he, at the end of the last season, he broke everything. He turned off he the did. sun. He did. That was the point. He broke everything. Then how are they still around? No, he did it out of spite. He did it like, okay, well then because I guess you're all going to he implode. chose what he broke and what he didn't break and he yeah. didn't break them. He just wanted to implode <laughs> everything and figured that everything would eventually kill itself. So we don't want to have Julius. Uh, that was, I saw everyone know that was the water bear's opinion of me. 
I mean, Chuck was just done with them because they figured out that he was just playing them the whole time. He was more interested in the story than in them. Like so he's a great story fandom. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I still love Chuck. Sorry. No, no, I love Chuck too. I he can be a bad guy all he wants. I'm still going to love him. Love his music too. Just saying. <laughs> So, yeah, I had some issues with that, and then, you know, Sam, um, anything you had issues with, my beautiful? Again, to interview you. No, but I am excited about Samifer. I've seen, uh, previews and pictures of Sam Miffer coming back. Sam mean, Lucifer. Yeah, I, I, I figured. Which, I'm not sure how... But again, God. So, you know, it's cool. Everything that could not happen before has happened now. So it's cool. It's fine. Maybe we can bring back some beloved characters. Like Crowley? Other than just ghosts. I mean, I'm just saying. I get he's not coming back. The whole life dispute and everything. But I'm just saying. Maybe like uh, Joe. That would be cool. Charlie. Again. Charlie would be nice. (laughs) Like, okay. not Apocalypse World Charlie, actual Charlie. Yeah. That was cool. So maybe. Probably not, but, you know. No. It is the 15th season. It is the final season. You never know. Gabriel. Gabriel would be cool. So. I'm just saying. I did love the episode, though. Yeah. I personally didn't have any problems with it because I understood uh, God. That's how it <laughs> works. So, well, I don't. He's not a uh, religious, doesn't believe in the whole deity, God thing or whatever. You don't need to do that to appreciate this kind of story. I mean, neither am I, but I understand. I mean, I kind of am, and then I'm not, and then I am. But, you know, me I, I mean, I, I like the episode. <laughs> I, I did have a couple of issues with it, but that doesn't make it less enjoyable. What about you, Julius? Yeah. Well, Water Bear, how did you feel? Please, join us. How did you feel? It was good. Yeah, more reaction than I expected. I thought, mm. Keep going. <laughs> Her feet were going to have an opinion, but apparently that tickled. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you. <laughs> and so Max we... wants to know if he can eat that. Come here. No. <laughs> I don't well, we that. obviously, so we all enjoyed the episode, and clearly we are terrible reviewers. I liked, uh, I liked Belle a lot, though. I like, I mean, he was clearly an opposite no, to Jack, because he had way more personality in the first five minutes than Jack had every single season he was on. <laughs> Personally, in my opinion. I preferred, uh, Apocalypse Jack. Like, you just after all of that, like, like no sassy story. characters. That's true. That's true. I like strong female characters, and I like sassy characters. That's I why you like Crowley. The boring ones. Yes, Crowley was my favorite. That's why you love Rowena. R. I. P. Crowley. Yes, I loved Rowena. I liked how they called her, and she was still sassy, even though she wasn't even in the episode. They just wrote her as sassy. <laughs> so you know, shout out to that actress. Love her. Hello, love her. Mommy. Just saying. <laughs> For the record, um, trying to think what else. Clara. I personally no. don't like Bloody Mary. I am terrified of mirrors, so the Bloody Mary episode was always terrifying for me. Yeah. I refuse to even watch the Bugs episode because I am terrified of Bugs. I still haven't seen it to this day. If I turn on TNT and that episode's on, I'm like. I don't remember this episode, and then I read the name, and I'm like, nope, and we're good. Yeah, it took a while to even watch the show. Uh, I'd watched That's a little bit. That's because the woman in white was terrifying. She just couldn't do it. I couldn't. Once that episode hit, I was just like, nope, and I'm done. And I'm out. It was, it was terrifying. I can't do ghosts and stuff. I'm not big on horror, <laughs> though I do plan on buying the new Rob Zombie movie on Tuesday, so <laughs> three from hell. <laughs> the third and final part of the whole House of Oh, really? Yep. Very excited about that. So, Sorry, piece of egg. Where is the second part? I hate you so much right now, Julius. So getting back to what we're actually reviewing, um, so I like. I want to know how they're going to get out of this because, like they said, yeah. they have a timer on everything, and it's not like 
they can keep the town deserted for, I don't know, Clara. forever. So, you know, it would be interesting because I'm pretty sure they're outnumbered, <laughs> outmanned. I mean, what are they going to so. do? Call every hunter they know? Oh, wait, they did that, like, last season, and most of them died. <laughs> so, you know, what are they going to do at this point? They're kind of raiding themselves into a rock and a hard place. Oh. So it's the last season. Maybe they'll die in the last episode. Maybe I'll get the ending I've always wanted in every show. They all die. Yes. <laughs> it made me so upset when Castle ended and they said that Kate was gonna die. It like got leaked, but then it turned out they had done two endings: one where she died and one where she didn't. And guess which one we saw. Wait, so saying. you want everyone to die in, at the end of Supernatural? I mm -hmm. love unhappy endings. I love what... Because that's what life is. You know? Well, I'm talking about this marriage now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, life's not perfect. And you're going against mm -hmm. what God wants at this point. Still and then, sense. if you're ending a show like this, I mean, they're not going to stop being hunters. So what, it's just going to end on a permanent cliffhanger of they ride off into the sunset and probably save a bunch of millions more people and we just never get to see it? So what was the point of it all? So That's what was going to happen. Because like the whole, the whole after all, show, then they, they can sell graphic wants. novels. Isn't the whole show them going against what God wants? No. No. It's... The whole but show was them going through all these interesting things and God but watching on his own TV do, show. But that's what they always do whenever a guy gets involved. That's always because that was the way we wanted. No, because God didn't want the apocalypse, so he sided okay. with them. God he didn't, didn't want the world end because he wanted it to be interesting. Yeah. Well, then he they wanted were, to watch a good TV show, basically. And when they refused to do what he wanted in that last season, he was like, you know what? No. Yeah. I'm God. He's like, I want you and to then use he just the snapped equalizer. his fingers to someone out. Everything dead rose up and ate them. And that should have been the end of the show. <laughs> That's what should have happened. Like Charmed. Come on. Yes, they could have killed him off and it would have been fine. In the original Charmed, I'm yes, just saying. You are... But no, we had to get that last season. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Well, I love Kaylee Cuoco. But no. <laughs> no. We have bad habits getting off in tangents, don't we? No. A little bit. No. At least we're not talking about Lion King. No. That would have been badly. <laughs> I love Lion King. I love Lion King. What? <laughs> she said she knows why you hate Lion King. The new Which, that's not what this is about. <laughs> oh, right. We'll make a rant about that. Yeah, She'll have her chance to say, yell. Her opinions on that one. Um, Clara. One day. <laughs> Clara, we have to focus on Supernatural episode right now. Because we've been doing such a good job at doing that. I know we have. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. So, yeah. Okay. Overall, while I had problems, I enjoyed the episode. Of course, he had problems. He always has problems. Because everything <laughs> has to be extremely logical and to the point. Yep. Then, Whereas mm -hmm. Julius and I enjoy wrestling, which even though we know is mostly scripted, we still enjoy it because we, we enjoy like every story. other show. Mom, yes, but not every other show pretends to be real. That's oh. why I don't watch reality television. Um, Except we, not all of it is fake. Um, no, I'm not saying all of it is fake. Not all of reality like television even, is fake. Even mm -hmm. not all of the... Things that happen within the storyline is fake. Like, sorry, a lot of. I personally loved the episode. I had no <laughs> problems you. with anything. Um, I am afraid of clowns, so I could have lived with them choosing any other ghost besides the clowns and Bloody Mary. But you know, I'm picky like that and scared like that. At least it wasn't bugs. I'm just saying. Yeah. Probably would have been in the bathroom throwing up then. Would have been walking dead all over again. <laughs> and so the episode? Mm -hmm. What did you think? So the final. Did you get a third person to um, watch it? Um, it was good. Okay. <laughs> we definitely recommend Supernatural. Definitely recommend anything that they are in. 
Ten Inch Hero, Jensen Eccles. Check it out. Really good. Uh, Loud and Swain is the one band of Chuck that I personally love. Misha, just in general. Awesome. Jared Padalecki <laughs> and his support of suicide prevention. Really Which awesome also dude. So it's great to love a show that has such wonderful people on it. Yeah. And while we're sad to see it go, I am really, really excited what they're with what they're doing for this last season. And I'm really excited to see it. Hopefully you guys will check it out too. She's uh crossing her fingers on all of and dies so. So. I love them, but come on, someone's got to die. <laughs> they killed off the mom, for Christ's sake. They got to do something. Not all of them are going to ride off into the sunset happy. At least kill one character. One. Give me one. I'll be happy so. with one, you two. Crowley, give me that. So, we, <laughs> um, that's our thoughts. I'm sorry, they're so disorganized. We will get better. Um, no, we won't. <laughs> so Maybe anyway he he'll actually work at being better for you he appreciates all of you I'm just you yeah she says this but trust me she can't stand not being the best if I start getting better she will beat me just to prove a point you get what you get <laughs> and you don't get upset right Clara that one my ballet geezer for me um, and also See? my gap geezer yep so, now if you like our content, as crazy as it is, go ahead. Hey, so, sorry about that. Um, she got really excited <laughs> and tried to attack all of you with a bear. So, hopefully nobody got hurt. Talking to you people. Um, but... If you like our digressions and craziness and or anything else, just hit like, comment, subscribe. We do reply to comments. Um, and that's about it. There is a bell. Hit the bell. And I think that's it. You want to say hi, Clara? Hi. Hi. She swears not to throw her teddy bear anymore. Right, Clara? <laughs> so, she promises not to do that anymore. Adios! Tell me bye. We hope that she can keep her word, but no promises. And that's all. <laughs>